Boat International has chosen Cortina. Boat International chose Cortina D'Ampezzo for the 2019 edition of the Super Yacht Design Symposium. Previously, we've been to Kitzbühel, but Italy has a special value in this level of yachting. We have the most number of boats under construction and of shipyards that produce them. Two sponsors speak Italian. They are Perini Navi and Riva. In addition to the latter, Audi 2, who has a special relationship with Cortina, and that with it all is associated with the sustainability concept. Its partnership with One Ocean Foundation is recent. La scelta di sponsorizzare questo evento rientra sostanzialmente all'interno della logica di The decision to sponsor this event falls essentially within the logic of maintaining a strong relationship with the sea, with sailing, and of maintaining a strong relationship with Cortina, which is a destination for us, an extraordinary communication platform that we use to narrate all that the latest generation of the communication processes of our brand wants to be. So in this case, the relationship with the sea originated long ago. We have been partners of the Emerald Coast's Yacht Club for over 10 years. And within this participation, we have always in some way told a story that is tied to sustainability, to the generation of affinity with regard to the sustainability world. In the last two-year period since 2017, essentially the Emerald Coast Yacht Club promoted the creation of the One Ocean Foundation, was created in order to grow interest in the sea and therefore to work to protect the marine resources. The quest for the design, material and search for technology in order to combine and make everything much more efficient in terms of weight, in terms of performance, in terms of sustainable approach is a common point between the two industries. Clearly there is also an additional common point that is indeed the target of reference and often speaks the same language. What is this event? So here we are for the 11th edition of the Super Yacht Design Symposium. This is our first time in Cortina and it is a fantastic venue for such a prestigious Super Yacht award ceremony last night and symposium for the next day and a half. You may well ask the question, what is the Super Yacht Design Symposium? Well, in a nutshell, it is a celebration and it is a insightful two and a half days all about the Super Yacht Design industry. So on the first night, which was last night, we celebrated the interiors, the exteriors of many different types of lot, yachts, different sizes from sailing to motor to custom to semi-custom and today we look at some of the key themes that are affecting the industry. We talk to owners, we talk to designers, we talk to young millennials as far as how they are um, uh, tackling the luxury world and offering a different type of luxury. We're asking that very, very important question. What is luxury? Last night we also had our Young Designer of the Year Awards, which was a fabulous celebration of the young designers coming through the industry as far as their education is concerned and then moving into the super, super yacht industry from a design perspective. So as far as we are concerned it is important that we celebrate the youth coming through. It is important that we recognize all of the different aspects of the super yacht design industry and what are the issues that are affecting the industry. What path did it take to receive this award? It's never be easy and for somehow I didn't expect it. I have four degrees, so engineering and never architectures, they are both in Taiwan. And then I went to Milan to study yard design in Polytechnical. And for the last one, I went to, uh, I went to UAL to study interior design in London. And it's never be easy, it's such a long journey. You just have to keep going and keep improving your skill and to try to achieve the goals. I still couldn't believe it. I, I, it's, it's the price that all the young designers are sick for. And I would like to thank all the selection committee and the sponsors, Oceanco and Boy International, for providing such a good 
opportunity and platform for all young designers. Could you tell us a little more about the project you won? Okay, so uh, my concept, Manta, is inspired by Stingray, a list of uh, endangered species. So the reason I did that is I want to raise awareness of ecolo uh, ecology and also I think that uh, eco-friendly is very important at the moment for all the yachting field. So I try to reach the, those two goals by my boat. What direction will the design take in the coming years? Interesting. Trends are very, very important, and it's really important as a market-leading uh, media company supporting this industry that we are very, very aware of what the trends are. So we do a global order book every year. We have a fantastic data product called Boat Pro, but what we do is we really try and understand what the latest trends are within the industry. We know that over the last 10 years, there's been huge change since the uh, depression of 2008, but over the last 10 years, the industry has rebounded in a spectacular fashion. So the trends are probably looked at two different areas. There is a massive trend for bigger yachts. So everybody now is, 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 has the ambition to have much bigger yachts on build. The second area of growth is very much the explorer route. People want to be able to go all around the world as far as their super yachts are concerned. And I think that explorer, coupled with sustainability from an explorer point of view, are very, very important. I touch upon the word sustainability this is another massive trend in the industry, carbon neutral, making sure that we are green, making sure that the uh, carbon emissions and sustainability levels are high are crucial as far as this industry is concerned. The other area of growth is very much in the, in the 24 to 30, 32 metre spectrum. We're seeing huge growth there as well.